Hello everyone, it's Mark. I am the Sanderson Collector, and it's time to do my unboxing and book haul for this month. Before we get into it, since I did not do my calendar last week, there are a couple of books that I want to look at, a couple new cover reveals that we've had, and additionally I want to note that next month is still scheduled to be the release of White Sand Volume 3. You can see the cover right here, and it will be out probably next month. I have not heard anything that says it will be delayed, and so we will be getting that, which covers the final part of the original White Sand prose novel. If you haven't read the White Sand prose novel, there are ways to get it. I'll leave a link about that in the description. So we've had essentially three cover reveals since the last time I did a video talking about covers, two of them official, one of them not quite as official. The first one is the Rhythmatist cover, which Brandon posted to his page. It looks like this, and this is for the new hardcover edition of The Rhythmatist, which Brandon said is coming out October 22nd this year. And according to Amazon, it is actually a mini hardcover with dimensions that are the same size as a mass market paperback book. So that's going to be cool, and I actually really like this cover. It shows off the circle and kind of the feel of the world and I kind of enjoy it. I mean, I still like the original cover too. I like most of the Rhythmatist covers, honestly, but this one is cool and definitely a cool new addition to pick up. Second, we have the cover for Starsight, the sequel to Skyward, and we can see it here. Amazon says the book is coming out November 26th. I believe it's actually scheduled for December 4th, sometime in that time frame. so I'll let y'all know when we have an official time. But here's the cover. I like this one better than the US cover for the original Skyward. Hopefully they'll look nice together on the shelf. And then finally, unofficially, we have the cover for the mass market paperback reissue of The Hero of Ages. And it looks like this. And, you know, here's the entire trilogy now together. I guess they kind of have the same feeling to all three of them. I don't really get any of them. They're kind of interesting covers, but they don't super fit like scenes from the book or anything so hopefully they are interesting covers that look good on the shelf and attract fantasy fans to reading Brandon's work and that's it for the new covers and so it's time to get into the books that I'm going to open up this month the first one is this package from eBay and here we have an arc of Skyward the paperback arc oh sweet this one actually has the cell sheet with it as well, which is super awesome. I did not have one of these yet, so I now have the cell sheet for Skyward to add to my collection. Now, Mark, you might be saying, you already have a Skyward arc. Don't be a hog. And it's true, I do. But if you'll remember from where I showed it before, this arc is actually missing pages. It jumps straight from page 214 to page 247. So hopefully this new one I got, yep, here's page 218, page 219. So it does not have the jump, and this is a complete arc, meaning that I can put this one on my arc shelf and this other one on a misprint shelf. So that's cool, and I'm glad to have a complete arc, and super cool that I get the cell sheet with that as well. Now, I got a bunch of books while I was at JordanCon two weekends ago, and... I haven't shown those off yet. The first of those is the Jordan Con anthology called You Want Stories. Um, if you'll remember, I have a giveaway of this going on, and I will do, I guess, the drawing for that tomorrow night. I know that's a little later than I said the deadline would be, but if you'll want to go still enter and it's in before I do the drawing tomorrow night, that will still be eligible. And in here we have, in addition to what I'm sure are a lot of other great stories, two Cosmere fragments by Brandon. There is a short scene that was Brandon's initial draft of Alloy of Law, essentially. It's got a proto Wayne in it and some cool stuff, an Achondra. And then he's got a scene called The Traveler, which is a very, very Cosmere aware, very cool scene. And so that is also neat. And it's got a one page introduction by Brandon and a bunch of other stories by other authors and people who have been to Jordan Con in the past, so that's super cool. I also got a copy of Elantris, and as you can see by the little number here in the corner, 
This is a book club edition of Elantris, and I did not actually have this one for my book club collection. Um, my friend Luke, if you remember from the picture last week, he's the really tall guy, he traded this to me, and so I really appreciate that he got this to me because I haven't seen one for sale specifically as a book club edition online. And here you can see how the copyright page is different from the regular one. There's no number line and stuff. So there is the book club edition of Elantris. And then my friend Argent, who is another Sanderson beta reader and an avid 17th shard person, intense Sanderson theory crafter, got me the Bulgarian editions of Firefight and Calamity. If y'all remember from a couple months ago, I got the Bulgarian edition of Steelheart, which is super cool, and now I have Firefight and Calamity in these nice hardcover editions to finish out the trilogy. And while the covers are pretty cool, they're not the most awesome thing. The most awesome thing is the really cool hardcover um, boards that they've put on the book under the dust jacket. They're nice and shiny. This is Firefight with the dark blue, almost watery feeling to it. And Calamity has these outer space looking boards, which are really pretty. I am almost tempted to just take the dust jackets off and put these on the shelf without the dust jacket because they are such nice boards and really cool additions. So thank you very much for getting these for me. And they are very nice additions to the collection and I am glad that I was able to finish up the set. Hopefully I can get some more Bulgarian editions at some point. And I'll probably also have Argent on at some point to talk about the Bulgarian translations when I get to talking about that language because he is a native speaker and it's always nice to have someone like that on to talk about the language. And the last thing I got is the Emerald City Comic Con exclusive edition of Unfettered 3 with the cover recolored in this beautiful green. I honestly probably prefer this green to the original orange, even though the orange is really nice. This green is just so rich and gorgeous. I absolutely love it. This is a really nice addition. If you're not familiar with Unfettered 3, it has a story called A Fire Within the Ways, which is a deleted sequence from the last Wheel of Time book by Brandon and Robert Jordan. And so this is the last edition that I was looking for. And a friend of mine actually went to Emerald City Comic Con and got this for me and had it shipped to me. So again, I very much appreciate that. Thank you very much. And so that's everything for this week. A couple more little oddity editions. No like spectacularly new books, but a lot of stuff that came from friends. So. Moral of the story, if you're a collector, make friends, ask people to help you out. People are awesome. Thank you very much to everyone who has been helping me out. And a last little reminder that my giveaway will be ending tomorrow night. I will do the drawing once I get home from work. So go and enter. And if you have any questions about the additions, there's some information in the description. And if you have anything else you want to know, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you. And until next time, happy collecting.